Hello, organized labor. U.S. President Joe Biden held his first political rally Saturday since launching his re-election campaign in April. He made his 2024 pitch to union members in Philadelphia. The AFL-CIO, which endorsed Biden this week, hosted the event. It includes 60 unions representing more than 12.5 million workers. Biden is aiming to shore up a key part of his political coalition and bolster support among white working class voters. Not a politician in this country who can't say the word union. As you know, I'm not one of them. I'm proud to say the word. I'm proud to be the most pro-union president in American history. Biden has supported collective bargaining at companies, reversed rules implemented by his Republican predecessor and leading challenger Donald Trump that weakened worker protections, pushed to reverse a decades-long decline in union membership, and made it easier for union labor to build bridges and ports around the country. In his remarks, Biden talked up his $1.2 trillion infrastructure package, passed with bipartisan support in Congress. Infrastructure was the subject of a visit he made earlier in the day. Biden toured the scene of a collapsed section of the I-95 highway in Pennsylvania. He promised $3 million in initial emergency funding and pledged to rebuild it in record time. We're going to stay with you and this is rebuilt until it's totally finished. We're going to try to do that in as quick a time as possible. And I told the governor, there's no more important project right now in the country as far as I'm concerned. I've directed my team, not figuratively, but literally, to move heaven and earth to get it done as soon as humanly possible. A section of I-95 was shut down in both directions after a tanker truck hauling gasoline caught fire on Sunday, causing the concrete to buckle and collapse. Authorities have not said precisely how the fuel was ignited. 